Hey everybody and welcome. This is Steve from Open Bomb, and in today's video we're going to look at creating a template in Open Bomb and then using that template when we build bills of material out of SolidWorks. And the purpose of this is so that we can uh, govern, you know, what our bombs look like when they come out of SolidWorks. And they have all the right settings and all the things that we like to have in all of our bombs. So let's go ahead and get started. I, I want to introduce you to my company called Globe, which is uh, a company that makes some electronic parts, LED displays, and things like this. So uh, I, what I'm showing you right now is my company's catalog. And I'm just sort of showing you this just to give you a sense of, you know, what um, kind of what we're going to be working with. This is my Globe Electronics catalog, and this is the catalog that I want to reference when uh, um, when I build bombs out of SolidWorks. So how are we going to do that? Well, let's get let's get started. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to build a bomb for the purpose of creating a template. Now let me show you what, what I mean there. There's going to be a little detail here, so let's see if we can go through. This is going to be our globe template bomb number one. Okay. It's really important that this doesn't have any other template settings, no catalog settings or anything. This is just a plain bomb straight from Open Bomb. When Open Bomb creates a new bill of material, we provide these four or five properties that we think you, every bill of material should have. So, okay, that, that's a that's a great start. I'm thinking about what my uh, what my bills of material coming out of SolidWorks are going to look like. Yeah, I probably want all of those, but I probably want some other things as well. First of all, I'm going to be referencing my Globe Electronics catalog. So I'm going to go ahead and assign that to my bill of material and remove any duplicates. So now our bill of material starts to look a little, uh, a little more like, our, our template here starts to look, look a little more like what we want our bombs to look like. It's got some information that's going to be coming from that catalog we just looked at. Okay, some other things that we want and that we always dread doing is defining extended cost every time we create a bill of material. Well, in OpenBOM now with the last release, we can create a formula and save that formula to a, a template. So I'm going to make my extended cost equal to cost times quantity. That's a very common, uh, common type and I'm going to set it to roll up in the event that I have uh, multi-level or rolled up quantities here. For now, I'm going to have an error because you can see that there's some uh, aspects of the formula that are undefined, most notably quantity and cost. But anyway, I know that behind that is that formula. Okay, and I sometimes like to have my cost property, it's just me, I like to have it kind of come in before extended cost. So I make a few changes and I move some things around there with respect to the order of the properties. So this is starting to look like a pretty good uh, template. I can see that part number and quantity are going to be coming from CAD because they uh, they do their item uh, their bomb properties. In other words, they don't have brackets around them, and the majority of the other properties will be coming from my catalog once uh, once part number is provided. So okay, that's going to look pretty good. Let's go ahead and save this as a template, and I'm just going to save this as template T6. Okay, so a template now was created in OpenBomb called T6. Let's jump over to my SolidWorks design. I've got the OpenBomb add-in. And let's set our template to be T6. Okay, I'm also going to go in, go in here and visit my, the properties list that I've got coming from, uh, from SolidWorks. And yeah, there's also the, most of the standard uh, properties that come over, part number, quantity, thumbnail, etc. Um, I, of course, I want, but I also want file name. So I, I chose file name out of the list here and I sent it over here to my, over to my properties. Okay. So what we're saying is, hey, bring these properties, use this template when we create a bill of materials. Well, let's see what we get. Let's create a bomb. Here we 
go. Let's take a look at it. And Okay, well, what do we see here? Um, well, it's going to be subtle, so let's, let's take a look at it. First of all, let's uh, wrap the text so we can see all the property names. I can see that I brought in um, all the information, part number and quantity from my, uh, from my CAD model. Of course, that's what I want. But look what we did up here. We automatically calculated the extended cost. In other words, our template was used when we created this bomb. The formula was applied. It was applied to all the rows. And as a matter of fact, it was even applied to all the uh, lower level rows if they, uh, if they came in. So that's, you know, that's, that's pretty cool. Um, you know, what else happened here? It looks like I got, I got cost and some of the other things are on the screen where I like to have them. And um, my bomb looks, looks pretty good. You can see I also brought file name in. This is sitting in my bomb right now, but it was not in my template. It was not in my catalog but I brought it outward directly from SOLIDWORKS because I used that property setting. So, so what do we have now? We've got a bomb that's, that's pretty uh, well ready to go. Uh, I've, we've taken a lot of the work out of it for you as far as um, having to redefine uh, formulas every time. Formulas can now come through in the uh, template. So, okay, so let, let me, let's wrap this up real quick. What did we do? Well, we started in open bomb and we created a bill of material using the create bomb command from the dashboard for the purpose of just you know of of uh, creating a template so we created a bill of material we hooked up our catalogs we defined our properties uh, um, formulas we moved our columns kind of in places that we liked them we used the save template command and we used the defaults you can spend a little more time on these if you want but the defaults would work for most of us. We gave it a name and we saved it. Okay, then we returned to SOLIDWORKS. We opened our SOLIDWORKS design. We looked at the open bomb settings and we set our template right, we specified our template here. We also, if we needed to, we also created a list of uh, additional properties we'd like to bring over from, uh, from SOLIDWORKS. And we save that. And, and, uh, and then we saved our settings and then we went ahead and, and used the uh, create update bill material to create the bomb. So I hope you find that helpful. We always love to hear from you at support at openbomb.com.